<laughs> okay, I got a testing folder idea that I've been using for the past 16 years as a teacher. I used it in second grade. I used it in fifth grade as, uh, for testing time. I don't want kids to look at each other's answers, so I have a very easy solution. For a box of 100 file folders that are letter size, you can make a class uh, set of these folders. Or you could use old ones that people are discarding or your own that you just don't want to use for the filing anymore. They work really, really great. Now, uh, the kid works here on their paper. When they're done, they fold it over and they put it away. Now, I'm going to show you how to uh, refresh your folders every few years. Now, you'll notice these are very thick and solid. And the reason they're so thick and solid is because I've been adding folders to them over the years just because it makes them look prettier and nicer. But the original can be done with masking tape, and I showed how to do it with masking tape or tape uh, on another video. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with glue this time. And glue is actually easier than tape, it seems. So you line this up here. You only need three folders, three hanging, or three uh, folders. And you take the three folders, put the two that are together like that, cut this with a paper cutter, Okay, and now you have four pieces. If you can eyeball it and line it up nicely, then you put some glue, one line of glue, a single line of glue will suffice. And then you overlap it. Nice thing about glue is that you can put it up like this, wiggle it around and make sure it's to the size that you want. Okay, if you have any glue over it, you could have a Napkin handy. And wipe that off so it doesn't end up sticking to itself. But if you're careful, you won't have that overage. I wasn't careful. Okay, so I've got that just perfect. I have about an inch of overlap over here. Then I take the pieces that I cut like this and I put the cornered size on that side and this side I use to glue onto here. Now, I am going to gauge to leave about a half an inch between here and the fold line on this one. So if I, if I'm not, if I really, really want to know what I'm doing, and I really want to be careful, I could take a pencil and I can give myself a guideline. And then so I think, oh, okay, well, I've got that much that I can glue on. Okay, so you probably shouldn't have to do that, but some people might want to do that. So you give yourself a little guideline, and then you put this on there about like that. Okay, then the other side, again, you get these sharp sides, and then you put it here, and you line it up to be about a half inch from the edge here. Okay. So you've got about that much room to work with. Put that glue right there and line it up. So when you're done, you leave it sitting for a few minutes and it's already test ready. Look at that. It's already gonna be test ready after a few minutes. You make 30 of those and you could use them over the years. Now, uh, after every few years, uh, they get a little grubby and you can see how how grimy these are, but I've been using these for 16 years. I like to refresh the insides more than I refresh the outside. Um, so what I'll do is after a while, kids start writing things like math, math, high people, stuff like that, work, and then they, they get all grubby. So what I like to do is I'll take old file folders, <coughs> put a little bit of glue here, around the entire edge of this. Tuck it into the fold. And push it in. Then I'll fold this down. Look at that, it's got a big old Rorschach test right in there. Okay, this has some words over here. So I might prefer this, or I might just get a different folder, because that's just too grubby. Ah, there you go. This has a word on this side, so I'll open this back up. T 
tuck that in here. Line it up with the fold line. And close it up. Okay, so you get the idea. Once you open it up, they're like, oh, it's such a brand new folder. Look at that. It's all fresh and brand new again. Well, thank you, teacher. Now I can focus again and stay on my own work. Okay, you get the idea.